While I was working at this huge Christmas tree, the silence was way too much. So what do you do? Music, of course. Layer by layer, printed better, 3D treats in plastic fire. And that just happened. I also happen to have a spare Google Home Mini at home that I don't really use, if not for setting timers sometimes. So why not taking it to the studio and play some music while I work? This video is in collaboration with Pixel Forge Lab. I mean, with myself, um, my personal channel, well, that one. But the Google Home Mini doesn't look very appealing anymore. I'm getting older and liking old stuff. Old stuff means retro, so we're clear. And this is what we're gonna 3D print today. We're gonna 3D print this amazing custom smart speaker retro radio housing. What a mouthful. <laughs> On Maker World, link in the box below, you will find a guide and three different profiles. One for Google Home Mini, one for EcoDot version, and an empty version. Just in case you wanna place inside any Bluetooth speaker or any speaker for the matter. As filament goes, the sky is the limit as it is for colors. In the slicer, the main chassis has fuzzy skin applied to give it this gorgeous look. My filament of choice was the filament PLA CF and standard PLA copper silk and some matte PLA also from the filament series. The main chassis printed in around eight hours. First attempt with black PLA CF was okay, but not perfect because the filament was a little bit wet. So after drying it for four hours, I reprinted it and turned out really, really well. I love this filament. You can tell by the other videos. What can I say? But I wasn't fully happy with my color choice, so I 3D printed another chassis, but gray this time. I wanted to try out both combo, black and copper silk, and gray and copper silk. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Assembly could require some tools, all in the guide. And if you're feeling fancy, some magnets, which is exactly what I'm using here. 6x2 neodymium magnets, 8 pieces. Luckily, I have some spare in my drawer, so we're good. We have some cleanup to do as usual on the prints, such as removing supports, wisps, and deburr here and there. It goes without saying that using my new blowtorch is so much fun. I actually overused it the other day and I ruined the print, but don't tell anyone. So the pieces we have, the main chassis, the back, the front, the feet, the mesh and the antenna. Very simple. Screw the back to the chassis with 4 m 3 by 10 mm screws. Slide the USB cable from the back. Insert your speaker. In my case, it's a Google Home Mini. Connect it. Connect the feet to the main piece. Use glue if needed. And as extra, to hide the inside of the housing, you could print the piece included in the 3MF file, or just cut a piece of thin black fabric or any mesh. I went for the 3D printed part because I wanted to see how it sounds and look. Obviously, I added my own touch using Autodesk Fusion. I created this nice text that says Spectrum Radio. What do you think? Does it look cool? You can imagine here infinite ways to customize it.
so I can finally listen to some music in style while I'm working. Layer by layer, printed better, 3D treats in plastic fire. Hey, play Girl in Red. Playing Girl in Red on YouTube Music. Hey, stop. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy 3D printing. Remember, we still have a 10% discount going on using the code SPECTRUMYT10, valid on all filaments. I'm not saying Happy New Year's yet. Why? Because I'll probably see you on Saturday. Remember to subscribe, leave a like, and comment your thoughts on this project. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alessio. This is Spectrum Filaments in collaboration with Pixel Forge Lab, and I'll see you in a few days.